Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a uh, update on the naval stuff that I've been working on. So I just wanted to go over how I've decided to base up my uh, troops. I think I have a, uh, well, I know I have a, a C mat, and uh, I'm not for sure who makes it, um, but it is just the uh, mouse pad material mats. And then color is extremely similar to this here. So this is just a uh, Krylon uh, satin blue um, paint that I uh, put it on and then I just hit it with a couple a lighter blue um, just kind of speckled it and then I came back in and used this uh, dark blue gray um, from Vallejo model colors so I used a uh, stippling brush ie a brush that's uh, gone to crap so um, just uh, came in and stippled the blue on and then after that was all done I uh, came in um, you know the good thing about these is I magnetize them so I have just some metal sheets that I use when I'm spray painting and things like that so they don't flip around and then all I did was I used this uh, Liquitex uh, super heavy gloss gel um, and I came in and again I stippled the uh, the base itself to give me some wave action going on the base then uh, the next step is uh, to take some of that same gel and then all I did was I put some uh, um, white paint in here. It takes, oh, I would say three quarters white paint to the Liquitex gel. It really doesn't take much white paint at all to, to, to make the gel white. So um, no big deal there. Um, but all I do is I, I use that as, as my glue also. So I'm just going to kind of go through this real quick with you. All I do is get a good little glop of this on here and I just paint the base. Careful not to slop it on the sides, but I do want to paint all the way to the edge. The, the one thing that I didn't uh, like about these models is that the, uh, the holes are just not very deep at all. So, um, especially on the destroyers. The destroyers are kind of paper thin when you get them down to the uh, scale that you want. So, all you do then is take it on this uh, base, kind of line it up where you think you want it to be. If you get a little bit off the edge like I did, it's not that big of a deal. Then I come in with a smaller brush and you can see that I've pushed out some of the paint, the white paint, and all I do is just go in and work around the edge. That's it. So doesn't take much. And I think it gives me the effect that I want. And it certainly... Uh, I, I like that the base isn't that much bigger than the ship. Um... I really want the ship kind of to stand out, I guess. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the name of the ship. I do have enough room on the back here on this, this edge to um, possibly write the name very, very tinily. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but uh, I will certainly do it on the bottom in a white uh, paint pen um, and, and do that. So, Anyways, that's all I really do. Now, if you wanted to, you could kind of stretch out some more of the uh, the lines as far as, you know, the wake and, and all that stuff. But this uh, will dry glossy as well. And so it'll kind of make the ships look pretty good, I think. So anyways, it's a really simple thing that I'm doing. I'm sure there's better ways to do it out there, uh, but this is pretty simple and fast for me. I have, oh, I think over a hundred bases uh, painted up and, and ready. Um, over here, I have a couple of the destroyer bases drying. Um, so you can see, obviously the scale is, is way different um, size wise, 
but uh, same exact thing. And you can definitely tell the, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus here. Um, you can definitely tell the, how thin that edge is, the whole edge for these destroyers. So anyways, that is what I'm doing. Um, next plan is just to get them all based. Uh, this is the Japanese fleet. Um, like I said, dad's working on the American fleet. And then from there, I should be able to go in and just start adding in more details like wooden decks and all of that stuff. So I just got it, uh, all of them base painted in gray. And then I, uh, came in with a, a wash, put it in a big old, uh, uh, spray can, uh, spray bottle and just, uh, put a big uh, coat of wash all over them just to kind of make the details pop out a little bit. So when I come in and dry brush this and, and then also put it paint in the details, uh, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So that is it. We'll talk to you later.